So the Cedar Spark is a wonderful option for getting into personal watercrafts because it is so cheap. The downside to it is that any of the little features and uh, nice stuff that you get is generally an option on these. One of which is mirrors. The mirrors themselves aren't that horribly priced and they fit very nicely. However, the installation instructions are a little murky. They, they make sense, but aren't exactly the most ideal. So what you're gonna to need to put these on is some kind of a drill with a 7 30 seconds drill bit a means of marking locations on your plastic to drill, so we're just going to be using a regular Sharpie. Um, and then a 10 millimeter nut driver or a 10 millimeter socket on a ratchet. So basically what we're going to do is open up the box and get out our mirror housing. Now they come with the mirror itself just setting in there. We don't want to clip these together yet because we haven't installed them yet. So, grab our right hand one right here. So that's going to go over here. When you're installing these, something you want to keep in mind is that there is some wiggle room as for how they're mounted. And you want to get them so there's not going to be big gaps along with it sitting half upside down or something funny like that. So take your time and make sure that it's going to sit nice because the whole point of using these OEM style mirrors versus some cheaper aftermarket ones is with these, your original cover is still going to fit. It's going to look like it's meant to be there and just overall be a really nice clean install. So once you get it settled in where you want it really nice, take your marker and mark in the center of each of the little holes inside of here. Okay, so there, you can see here and here. We're using black so that it doesn't really mark stuff up and look horrible in the case that somebody ever wants to take these off. So now we'll grab our drill and you have to overcome that I'm drilling into my boat um, mental block and drill a hole. Getting my head in the shot so bad there. That one I may have to do with a wrench. Such a snug fit. There's no use going super tight because you're just tightening plastic into plastic. So just decently snug is good enough. Now let's go and install our housing on our other side and then we'll snap our mirrors in and see how it looks. Installation over here is essentially the same exact thing, except we have three spots for bolts over here. So we're going to line it up where we want it to sit. Then we're going to mark spot one, mark spot number two, and mark spot number three. Here we go. We've got three marks made. We'll fill our holes. Put in our first one right here. That way it holds it in place while we line up the others. Leave that just a hair loose. So we get everything else mounted up and lined up where it needs to be.
There we go. Nice and firmly mounted. Pop our mirrors in. See how it looks. go. Peel off the protective film. Ta-da! And we'll do the same on the other side. Now when you're pushing these mirrors into the housing, don't push on the lens. Push on the frame. Otherwise you could pop the lens right out of the back. And that would kind of ruin your mirror installation if it wasn't a mirror anymore. little mirrors with a factory look and your factory cover will fit just like it was meant to be there. So with the mirrors all mounted, factory cover slides right back on how it's supposed to and you'd hardly even know that it's there. Just a little bump right there but the cover fits absolutely perfect and the mirror, of course, looks like it was meant to be there. Thanks for watching.